Among Guam's beautiful mountains and valleys, there lie numerous hiking trails, jungle excursions, and the ever-present sense of adventure. Though the environment offers many great things to explore, there is a part of Guam's landscape that proves to be one of the island's biggest contributors to the degradation of our reef and sea life. I'm Joanna Delphin, and this is Dig It. Erosion. It's the act in which earth is worn away, often by water and wind. Erosion on Guam is primarily the result of rainwater hitting the surface of soil and dislodging particles, thereby moving them off-site and into bodies of water. Bart Lawrence from USDA showed us prime examples of erosion in the village of Petey, from their rocky beginnings to their smooth silt endings. Guam is a very serious erosion problem, as you can see from the landscape around us. Um, we've lost our tree cover in the south and we've got uh, roads and other activities that damage the soil, damage the plant life, that create active channels for water to move through. And as water gains more energy, it gains more power and becomes more erosive. Big causes are fire, feral undulates, the pigs and, and the wild deer and wild carabao, and unregulated off-road vehicles. Unmanaged or unregulated roads are the single largest contributor to soil erosion on Guam. The sediment, when it's carried out, it's a real fine clay sediment. It gets carried out in the stream water and we have short, flashy streams. So they move a large volume of water very quickly right under the reef. Our island is protected by a variety of reefs the most predominantly of which are fringing reefs, which shield us from tsunamis and serve as natural habitats for fish and other sea life. When erosion occurs and ends up in the ocean, our reefs are smothered and could potentially kill our coral and end those natural habitats. For example, in Fua Bay, that area doesn't have a chance to cleanse itself because of the way it's, uh, its geography. So that sediment stays in there and kills the reef. So we lose the fish that, that would eat eat the coral or eat the plant life in, in those marine environments. So there's fewer fish for fishermen to harvest and to feed their families. And then we lose coral habitat, the diversity of corals, and not good. Though the health of our reef and sea life is important, Lawrence explains how erosion not only affects our environment, but our economy and families. Soil health is the health of our, our nation, of our island, and our culture. Um, so we want to stop soil erosion so we keep healthy soils, healthy reefs, healthy waters. The recent issues with the Ugum treatment plant and all the erosion in the Ugum watershed and other watersheds around the island, the water plant shuts down. People have to take off work, schools close, mothers, you know, fathers have to be at home to take care of their kids. It, so it's a, it's a uh, cumulative effect that um, harms our economy and harms, harms the natural environment. Things that we can do, plant more rain gardens, plan more impervious surfaces, allow rainwater to soak in instead of run off. Monitor construction sites so that they don't allow sediment to reach uh, stormwater drains and things like that. There's a whole host of things that we can do as citizens, as organizations, as businesses, as agencies to protect our environment. There's a lot of exciting work being done by a number of different agencies, local agencies, Guam Forestry, the university, um, as well as federal agencies, Department of Defense, Navy, um, Joint Region Marianas, uh, NOAA, NRCS, Forest Service. Um, we're all very interested in healing the landscape and reducing um, sedimentation and the pollution and the damage that it causes to the environment. Thank you, Bart. Uh, for joining us for this episode and talking to us a little bit about erosion and uh, how we as residents of this beautiful island can prevent it. And uh, thank you again Guam for joining us for this segment and we'll see you next time. But in the meantime, let us know, did, did you, you dig, dig it? it?